this represents, I guess, 46,000 metres of drilling. Uh, since then, we've done an additional 15,000 metres of drilling, uh, which um, uh, we feel will, will significantly add to, to the current resource. Probably our, our best hole to date was actually the first hole, which was uh, 982 metres at 0.82 copper equivalent. You can see the, the slide um, uh, with, with some of the other results. We're regularly getting uh, kilometre long intercepts of anywhere from 0.4 to 0.5 copper equivalent. And one of the things to highlight is Biscoga, the, the mineralisation of Biscoga starts essentially at surface. There's, there's about 40 metres of clays and, and recent overburden that sit over the top of the deposit, and then you're straight into the mineralisation. And the other key highlight here, which you can see in that image, is there's a very high-grade core to Biscoga surrounded by a lower-grade halo. Uh, and that high-grade core has produced some spectacular results. Uh, we, we, we had one uh, zone within this, this uh, high-grade core that uh, was 17 metres at 7.5% copper equivalent. But on average, you, you're looking at somewhere between 1.5% to 2.5% copper equivalent. And it, the, the value of it's roughly half gold, half copper. We, we've spent some time focused on the deposit uh, and, and the known resource. And then we're now in the process of stepping out and uh, expanding uh, the, the resource into the unknown. Uh, you can see some of the, the spectacular results uh, in, in some of the tags, but essentially the, the, the high-grade core uh, is 300 metres by 300 metres in, in terms of its footprint, and we've, we've intercepted it as deep as 900 metres, and it's still very much open at depth. So the big question, of course, is, can Biscoga get bigger? And this, the, the, the slide presently uh, shows the, the, the known ore body, that's the 3.2 million ounces of gold and 600,000 tonnes of contained copper. Um, and then overlaid that is a style of drilling which we call KGK. So the, the entire deposit is buried, uh, as I said, between the 30 to 40 metres of overburden. So the technique we use for, for expanding uh, our understanding is, is a, a process for, where we drill through the overburden and sample the top of the bedrock. And you can see those holes uh, that we've drilled um, around the Biscoga deposit itself. And Biscoga is uh, highlighted in, in the circle, the, the current ore body. We can see the gold anomaly that we've picked up with our KGK type drilling. And what's important to understand is that the, the KGK is giving you point data. So it's actual mineralization. This is not a halo, um, which is typically what you might get with say a soil sample. So this is, this is denoting a five kilometre trend of confirmed gold mineralisation, uh, much of which has, has yet to be explored with the drill. You can see the same thing for copper. So really to answer the question, can Biscoga get bigger? I, I think the overwhelming answer is uh, there's no question that it can.